<laughs> I'm so excited. Hi. You know, it's just one of those days. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Audrey and today I'm going to be vlogging. Uh, I just barely got my lashes done. Like I'm literally still in the parking lot. I just barely got them filled after like two months of not having any lashes. I decided that since I have my camera on me, I'll just vlog today because we're doing a couple things today and I figured it's always... <laughs> what? What? It's always fun to just have a, a good little vlog. Since I am down by my parents' house, I'm gonna stop by because I had a package delivered to my parents' house uh, and I am very excited because I am really looking forward to that package. I have this teeny little mini baby apple I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry. Right, oh. Okay, lighting, I'm just trying to end this segment of the vlog. Can you chill? Right now I'm just eating an apple, which isn't fun, so. I'll see you in a minute. In so long. Are you, ha are you happy? What? What do you smell? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, you already saw me, Iris. Boo boo. Guess what, boo boo? It's your birthday this weekend. She don't care. I am visiting home really fast. Where's my package? I have a very important package. Oh my gosh, here's my package. I'm so excited. This is from the brand Teamy, and it's basically vegan protein powder. Vegan, gluten-free protein powder, which is super important for me because I have um, stomach problems, so. And I think I wanna go get my car washed before we have to go do the next thing on the list, um, which is really, really boring. So I think I wanna go get my car washed before we do that, because my car is freaking disgusting. I think that's what we're gonna do next. Now that I have my package, said hi to the pups. I think I'm gonna go wash my car. Here's a before, look at how gross. Can you, can you even see on camera how gross that is? It's literally so gross. I'm getting, I'm, I'm gonna get gas as well. Hi, I have a wet wipe because gas pumps are, are gross, so. Puppies are leaving. Gas is a dollar. Well, like a dollar ninety, but still. We, we got a car wash too, so. <laughs> like, that is gross. I just want the rainbow soap. That's the only reason I even come to the car wash is for the, <gasps> the rainbow soap! Ah! Oh, I love it. Oh, I love the rainbow soap. It's kind of only like blue and yellow, but it's still fun. Okay guys, ew. A, a time for a little story time. I am home. So much just happened off camera that you did not see, but I will explain. My camera died right as I was going into the car wash. So you saw the little montage of me at the car wash. I explained how I had really, really boring plans later. And I've also talked about this in another video. I, like I mentioned it before, but I ordered furniture from Ikea. And since I had just moved, I wasn't like 100% sure what my address is yet. I ordered, an order from Ikea and an order from Sephora both at the same time. My Sephora order got here first and I put in the same address for both, but the Sephora order got delivered to a completely wrong address. I don't know how, I thought it was my fault. Honestly, I really did, I thought it was my fault. And that ended up being a whole mess, it got returned and then I was like, oh my God, I entered that same address in for my Ikea order, which is a lot bigger than a little box of makeup so I won't be able to just drive to the wrong address and pick it up. It was scheduled to be delivered today, either from 11 to 3 p.m. So like, that was the delivery window. My plan was to drive to the address that my Sephora package had been delivered to because that's where that ended up. I figured that was where my Ikea package would end up. I was gonna 
drive over there, sit there for four hours and just wait for the Ikea delivery person to show up. And then I was gonna bribe him to drive to my actual apartment to deliver the furniture because it was way too big to fit in my car. I was on my way home from the car wash, my camera had died, so I ran home, I was grabbing my camera, I grabbed a book because I thought I was gonna be sitting there for four hours, so I grabbed a book. And right as I was leaving, I was pulling back out of the driveway, I was ready to go to the wrong address, and I get a phone call and I answer it, and it's the Ikea guys. And they actually made it to my apartment. I don't, I don't know how because I entered the same address that the Sephora package like was sent to. I was so stressed out literally all week thinking about how I was gonna manage to like sit there for four hours and try to convince the guy to drive somewhere else. But it's down in that hallway and it's, it's a giant package and I am so glad they ended up at my apartment. Long story short, even though I already told the long story, I have my Ikea furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I literally packed a lunchbox. That is how long I thought I would be waiting in my car for. I packed a lunchbox and a book. Like I was set for life in my car because I was just gonna wait. So now I don't have to wait. Now I just have to build a shit ton of Ikea furniture, which is probably gonna be just as fun. Okay, now I'm gonna make lunch. Let me show you what I make. Today's gonna be a really boring day because I'm lazy. Also, nice little bag of gloves, but these, this is what I'm using. I'm using a brown rice gluten-free tortilla. And now here's the fun part. So I have these soy slices from Trader Joe's. It's basically like a cheese alternative. It literally looks exactly like American cheese, but you know, it's not horrible for you. So you don't, you don't need a step-by-step -step tutorial to know how to make a cheese quesadilla. That's lunch and I really just wanna watch YouTube right now and I don't wanna record right now because I just wanna eat, but then, oh, let me get this out. With lunch, I always have raspberries and cut up strawberries and carrots, so. There's the quesadilla. Look at her, look at that cheesy goodness. Gotta make sure the cheese is evenly distributed, you know what I mean? Okay, there's lunch. I'm gonna eat it in peace and quiet, so see you guys later. Okay, I finished lunch. Maybe, maybe I get a snack as well. Um, we don't need to talk about it. And now I have, wow, I just got really cold. <gasps> Look, I have goosebumps. You guys don't care about that, so. And I decided I probably need to clean because as you can see, even just standing here, like you can see my house is messy. Even though the last video I posted was a deep cleaning my apartment video. I swear I have had like at least three time lapses of me washing dishes in my recent videos. So <laughs> I'm not gonna time lapse me doing the dishes this time. You guys are welcome. And honestly, I don't know if I'm even gonna record myself cleaning at all because I just posted a whole video of me cleaning. Go check that out if you're interested in watching me clean because I already did a whole video on that. So you don't need to see it again. Bye, gonna clean. <laughs> I may have just found out that there are Barbie movies on Netflix. Judge me if you want. Honestly, the old, like early 2000s Barbie movies, their plots, the music, the animation, fire guys, straight fire. Oh my God, I'm on my boyfriend's. <laughs> on this screen like it's not supposed to make that noise when I'm already on that screen okay it better have good Barbie movies like any Barbie movie after like 2010 I'd say is like shit Barbie spy squad what the, what the fuck? Fuck? no thank no, you, thank you. I was lied to. They do not have good Barbie movies on here. I don't know why I even wanted to watch a Barbie movie. Like I shouldn't even want to watch one. So maybe it's like a good thing that they're not on there. But Tinkerbell is on. I'm kind of down for Tinkerbell. This is Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast, which I have never seen. It's settled. We're, we're throwing on Tinkerbell. Here's like a little like, you can see how gross it is really fast. Oh, I just pinched my finger in the tripod. <gasps> Oh God, the Disney music is gonna start to play. Disney, please don't take down my video. Look at how gross my apartment is. Okay, do you see how gross it is? All right, so I'm gonna be back when it's when it's done. Yay, Disney movie. 
Hi, this is my uh, full comprehensive review of Tinkerbell and the Never Beast. Overall, I give it a 5 out of 10. Um, it was kind of weird because Tinkerbell wasn't even the main character, but yeah, they called it a Tinkerbell movie, so I thought that was kind of strange. The plot was uh, poorly put together. Too many new characters added that just didn't add to the story at all. And So overall, I would not recommend this movie. Uh, sorry, Disney. Pay me a lot of money, and my opinions will change. Anyways, that is all. Today's just one of those days, you know when you have those like off days where you just have no motivation, like now I'm hitting that like mid afternoon slump and I'm kind of just like not wanting to do anything. So I'm really sorry if this vlog is <laughs> turning out to be extremely boring. Um, <laughs> I'm extremely boring. <sighs> Please don't unsubscribe. Let me give you a quick tour. I don't even think you can see shit. <laughs> So that was my um Minecraft world tour that nobody asked for, so <laughs> yay! I really probably should just clean, oh my god, but I'm like really not wanting to. Oh my god. And there's still trash on the floor. Maybe, honestly, okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish cleaning my apartment. I'm gonna buckle down. I'm gonna dedicate like the next 30 minutes to cleaning my apartment because I guarantee once my apartment's clean, I will feel better because when my environment is messy or like stressful looking, it just automatically puts me in this mood of not wanting to do anything. So it is really nice outside today though. So that's a plus. Maybe I'll like go outside and read. <gasps> Maybe I'll go to a park and read. The only book I have though, I spilt water all over it. So now it's kind of deformed, but that adds character, right? We'll clean and then maybe we'll go to a park can read because it's just so nice outside and that sounds like the artsy thing to do so maybe that's what we'll do um i put airpods in i'm not even listening to anything i just maybe people will think i'm on the phone no just kidding i have a giant camera in front of me but people will be less likely to bother me if i have airpods in so so what did I bring? What did I bring on my little excursion, you may ask? Um, let me show you. So I brought a notebook and a pen, just in case I have any important thoughts that need to be written down. Oh, my camera battery's about to die. Also, I brought... Hi, my camera battery died right when I was trying to tell you guys that I brought extra batteries, except now both of these are dead. So here's the book I've been reading. It's called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, and I really like it, but you see how I said I spilt water on it? Yeah, so it's kind of like misshapen now, but it's fine. I can still read it. Then I also have an organic protein shake because I need protein. You know, it's just one of those days. Reality just seems fake and everything just... I don't know, has no meaning. Ew, that was like really, really sad. I promise I'm fine. I'm just like bored, I guess. But yeah, let me show you my setup. Here's my setup blanket. Me, just chilling, just chilling. This park is freaking huge. Also, I don't think you can see them. Um, there were squirrels in that tree, which is why I'm kind of sitting further away from that tree, just because I didn't want to sit by the squirrel's tree and then have them come down and like fucking attack me because I sat under their tree or something so I sat a little bit away from their tree but I just thought you guys should know that there were squirrels in that tree and they were very fat and it was a really good time if I don't update in like an hour it's probably because I got kidnapped and murdered but that's all part of life right so see you guys in a minute I'm getting so sleepy <laughs> guys it's like 8 30 and i spent so much freaking time on minecraft um and i actually convinced myself to work out even though i really 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 don't want to and i never work out this late but i'm gonna do it so the hour-long bar class that i always do so let's let's go i guess I get tattoos, told my mama I would marry you. Oh god, I'm back. Yeah, so I'm back. Uh, the shirt had to come off because, oh my gosh, I get so sweaty, which I'm like paranoid because I just got my lashes done and I don't want them to all to fall off, but... 
honestly super impressed that I forced myself to work out, but I actually did and now it's 9.30 and usually I'm in bed by 9.30, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm sorry I'm ending the vlog looking like this, but I gotta get to bed because I have work in the morning, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This was kind of like a day in my life. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell if you want to be notified when I post next, and feel free to check out some other videos on my channel. Check out my links in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!